we're the Boomer Shines, and we have a dream of doing the Great American Loop. Is that what you wanted? Yeah. <laughs> it's the two of us, two kiddos, and two cats. But first, we gotta find a boat. So welcome to episode seven of VBS Virtual so. Boat Shopping. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We've had the same boat recommended by two different people. Hold on, I'll put my glasses on and give a shout out. Uh, Joshua Hughes and Stephen Mack both sent us a listing to the exact same boat. So today, we're gonna look at it, and thanks for the recommendation. Yeah, this is so awesome. we're gonna look at it. <clears throat> it's uh, it's the one in New Jersey, right? Or New York, which New one? York. New York, here we go. It's a Carver 570 Voyager Pilot House, listed for $349,000. So yes. let's take a look. All right, here we go. This is a 2002 570 Voyager. Okay. Um, it is 57 feet, diesel, says low hours. Do you like diesel? Well, every boat on the loop should be a diesel. Okay. Yeah, and any boat in this size is gonna be a diesel. Gas engines are just not as dependable and they eat too much gas. Okay. So it looks like it has some new electronics, a lot of stuff listed here. So that's good. So let's look at the stats, 57 feet. What are our height requirements, honey? And our draft requirements? Okay, so to do the Great Loop, your boat cannot be any taller than 19 feet, six inches above the water line. And below the water line, it can't draw any more than six feet, preferably less than five feet. We're really shooting for four and a half feet. So yeah. those are the requirements. That to reduces do the loop. our pucker factor. Yes. As first time <laughs> loopers. Okay, so this one, its height is... I like it. These people gave 59 foot 2 inches on the length overall. We got a beam of 15.4. We've looked at some 17 foot 2 ones. Not as beamy as I would like, but it has a bridge clearance of 19 feet. Score! And a maximum draft. I like it when people put maximum draft of 4 foot 9 inches. So that's all great. So the first look, um, it is... I think it's personally kind of like a pointy houseboat. <laughs> right? It's long. It's kind of all one level. So, um, but I think it has a lot of uh, living characteristics on the inside. I don't that are good. love it, but I don't dislove it. Is dislove a word? I don't dislike it. I really wish their photos were brighter. That is a lovely uh, sun breaking through. Yes. All right, there you go. It's There's got some port lights. It looks like some walk around, but nothing is covered. Okay. I don't see grab rails on the outside, so. That's worrisome. Oh, got a nice sexy stern. And this one has, in particular, some nice canvas that they Which is great on. because Mark is a fine artist and he will still be painting while we're on the boat. So the back area of the boat is where Mark is going to make a floating studio. Yeah, so in this area right here, this is where my studio will be. A lot of people ask, well, how are you gonna do that with the boat rocking and everything? I'm not going to paint while we're underway. So at anchorages at night or in marinas. Which is usually calm. So that is a big aft swim area. Great for the kids. It's got two Powerful. shore towers, which is interesting. Uh, I wonder what these do. Is that a water line, that gray one? Uh, it should be, yeah, because they're hooked up to the city water. Okay. So we've jumped in. We've gone to the pilot house, uh, which is... Nice for seating, so we can all watch the world of the loop go by. One of the things I have noticed on this particular boat is look at the level of the window compared to where you're sitting. Compared to where you're standing? Stand, well, if you stand up, you're looking at the roof. So you're like hunched down to look out the window? Yeah, and the other thing, I mentioned this on the uh, Meridian that we looked at, the Meridian 580. You can stand up at the helm of the Meridian, which has a similar layout right here. This one you can't stand up at? Yeah, look, if you, this is seated right here. It's seated, if you're over six feet, you're looking about at, at this right here. Uh, it's a good thing you're not over six. It's a good thing. But the, you know, a plus on this is that, uh, right, all of your char charters, radar and everything, I think chart flyer is all up there. So That's you're kind of cool. scanning up and then looking down. Okay, um, the, the sofa looks really comfortable. I don't love the black. It doesn't feel real yeah. nautical. I do love the coffee table, which is movable. I don't love the fact that it doesn't have like a permanent like homework table, chart table, dining table up there. Yeah. But it looks comfy. 
And uh, I like their, cha their taste in coffee tables. You get the bamboo uh -huh, coffee table uh -huh. a plus. Okay, keep going. <clears throat> there's no port side uh, door. Uh, that's a good point. I think there's a starboard side. Okay, so this so is looking right up. behind where we were. I mean, that's nice. You got this bolster here. And you can hand food through. Yeah. All right. So the negative on this is it's not low ceiling. It's tall. It's just low. Well, you, to see the world, you've got to be seated in this particular area. But that is raised up above the rest of the, the space. If you keep going, I bet we can see that. There's a good. See, uh, I would you? like it better if it had like a permanent table for homework, but I do kind of think that's cozy. Okay. I think we could add that or get something more permanent. Okay. Okay, right. we've seen a lot of the black <laughs> sofa. Mm, more of the black sofa. It's good. It does oh. have a high snugger. All right, here oh, we go. Okay, here we go. So this is walking in from the aft to through the double doors. I guess double doors. And here you I go. I like the galley. I love the bar stool concept. I think those are built in. Uh huh. Which would be fun with our two little kids. You got this dual countertop thing, which could this could be homework theoretically. Maybe, yeah. Uh, this looks like solid countertop. No, I mean, that's big countertop space. Dual I, basin I sink. I prefer it to be white. Well, we could change that yeah. maybe. Uh, refrigerators. Yep. Little Sub-Zero independence, I think. They look kind of small. If one's a fridge and one's a freezer, it's not a ton of space. But I guess, but think about if you took one and stacked it on top but, of the other. And that looks like the pantry space. Mm -hmm. okay. I think this is all pantry. Okay. Microwave. I can't tell what that other black. Oh. How's that on your snuggerific scale? I feel like we need a snuggerific logo and rating scale that once we get fancy at videos. Um, that looks cozy. It looks like aesthetically. It's that pleather stuff. It's so love the... delicious, but not the best to look at. No. I, yeah. Okay. It's great it's to sit Great on. space. Keep going. And maybe storage under there? Yeah, well, that or I bet you they recline. Yeah. I feel like this is a reclining sofa. Table looks like it folds in half. Okay. Keep going. I think we'll see one folded. Ah! ah there see? you go. I mean, super comfy. Uh-huh. But, you know. But I like their, th again, these people have excellent taste in their additional Okay, add better shot of the galley. Dishwasher. Dishwasher. What's that other black... I think that lifts up and there's a burner back there from what I remember. Oh, the that's the stove area? Mm hmm Okay, that's nice. I'm down with that. Electron or uh, stereo componentry. That's good. It has yeah. a home. But where's the TV? And honestly, this day and age, do we need that much? Like, do we need all those components anymore? Or are we just going to be running things off of, like, I don't know. Wi-Fi. It's speaker? there. Okay. This, these stools do not look built in. I bet you. Well, the carpeted I don't know. around them. We move to the master. Good nice master. stack of drawers. Uh huh. We each have a bedside table. Uh huh. Let's walk around. That looks like a queen. It looks like a queen. Yeah. It's doable. Shelf space. Dun, dun, dun. I don't I mind. What this little door is? Engine room. <laughs> it's where the whole bit lives. <laughs> Can I get you tea for tonight? It's a, it comes with a house hobbit. It's a boat hobbit. So will you like a tea? Oh my gosh. Okay, carry on. We're leaving Harry Potter world and we're back to Yacht World. Um, no, it's not a full-length closet. I don't know or what that is. What is that? I feel like it's washer dryer. Wait, there's a closet. This look, the, that's closet. Or is that bathroom? Oh my. Mm -hmm. Those are your drawers. I get the full stack. Did you hear that? You heard it here first. You already claimed. Uh -huh. There's another door to nowhere. I think that's the door into the room. I could be wrong. Maybe it comes with two house hobbits. <laughs> okay, keep going. Okay, right, so that's gotta, like a meridian with, yep. the, with the sink in the middle of the room. One side's probably the potty and the other side's probably the shower. Mm -hmm. Medicine, good. dual medicine cabinets. Nice. I mean, for the price, this is like, this is a nice boat. Shower with a tub? Is that a jetted tub? That's a jetted tub. For all like, those like, long jetted tub bath. Wait, it can't be a jetted tub because where's, what's going to hold the water? The door? I don't, yeah. 
Unless it like seals, kind of like those handicap bathtubs. That's an inlet, for. and those are jets. Okay, well we can read the description. Potty. Okay. It's a hold on. Oh, oh. nice. Oh. So these must be storage. That's nice in your room. I prefer it in the hallway, but. Okay. Speaking I mean, of the hallway, I mean, I, I, that's way better than like in the engine room. Speaking of the hallway, okay. that's a nice hallway. Distance, yeah. space. Yeah, they've got grab rails. Those I are feel nice like grab rails. Well, I feel like they took towel rods and stuck them on the wall. I mean, Good functional, lighting. but it seems a little bit like there should have been like a purposeful handrail. All right, guest. Nice. And tutor. Nice. Nice. It's a standard V-berth. That's kind uh -huh. of a tiny little closet. Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, there's a closet. All right, here are the kids. This is where it goes off the rails. Okay, this looks like one of the closet bedrooms that I think is going to be too tight. Whoa. <laughs> oh, it's actually got more room than some, but it's basically a closet with bunk beds in it. Now, in this situation, I'd almost configure... Because there's no storage for the kids' clothes well, in these closet rooms that I've this. that we've looked at. Maybe let's see. Hold on. So in this situation, I would reconfigure the V berth with custom beds for each kid, and then I'd have our tutor in there because that's just one person, and then so the you other. So would the do other... something with this. Yeah, I would make two twin beds on the side, a little play area in the middle, which would give our two kids more space, and then the tutor would be in the other room with the bunk that has two beds, but then one bed could be storage and closet. Okay, so for people that may ask, how would you turn this into a double, double well, kids' bedroom? Well, you'd pull out the queen mattress and, okay. and some so beds... So scrap, you'd have just a bed support. And some bed, there are some bed or boats that do this that basically you can choose to... They scissor. They, they do this. So it could either be like two twins like that or come together as a queen, which is a really nice design detail in a boat. But we would probably recreate something like that. So if we did have guests, we could go oh, and make it a queen. But for the kids, it'd be like that. And then the space in the middle would be a play area. The nanny would be in here. So say sh they would be below the tutor. tutor. They'd be below and all this would be storage for them. Yeah. Because you only got one person in there versus two people. Yeah. It's a cute but little you know, room, the kids are probably going to really love this. I know, but the problem the problem is they come the kids come with stuff and that boat is probably perfect for a long weekend. Yeah. But we're living on it. So they need their stuff. They need their clothes, they need some toys. And this is the shared bathroom, I believe, for, for the kids bunk and room and the V berth. Okay. So tutor and kids would share this. But the kids, we both know they're going to use our bathroom like they yeah. do now. Okay, so <gasps> now we're at the Flybridge. It's a left-hand driving position, which is kind of strange. On a boat? Newer Garmin. Okay, again, like, if you're trying to sell a boat, take the cover off the cushion. Best foot forward, people. <laughs> this looks clean. Oh, got a grill. Got a grill, got this a sink. I love seating. all that. I mean, I love the flybridge. A lot of options. Love the, is it navy or black piping? Either mm -hmm. way, I don't, I love the white with the piping. And realistically, this is where life happens. This is where we will see. You think we're going to spend all our time on the flybridge? I do. This is a solid contender. I think for the price point, like it's a lot of books. Comment on the carver is on, an, on a passage, like going through the Bahamas or something, or on the Great Lakes where it's going to get a little rough. You hear some squeaking and the doors don't close. So that means, things so things are, are shifting enough. So, I mean, that is a concern. Engine room looks pretty clean. It's got one, two, three, four, five AC units. I think this is a solid recommendation. If we can't find one of the ocean faring ones that we love. Water maker. Thank you for the recommendation. I like this one. Kohler generator with 575 hours. I don't know what that is. Batteries. Breaker panel. That looks like so we need a sign left. Okay, so that looks pretty narrow. I love that. With a grab rail under here. I don't love that for kids. That's a dang right there. This is maybe hip height. And we're gonna put netting to keep the cats from sliding out. 
Okay, so that's his first real ding in my book. Mm-hmm. That's not a ton of space back there. Somebody added uh, controls here for docking. Okay, you'd rather but have... Yacht Master. Is it called Yacht Master? Yacht Controller? Yacht Controller. Yacht Controller. Yeah, it's not huge right there. For as, for as long of a boat, this and, is not a ton of aft space. And that is essentially a ladder going up. Those are yeah, nice. but you have internal stairs, remember? Oh, that's right. Good point. All right, a layout. <gasps> oh, I love a layout. So the master's got some good size. This doesn't seem to scale. If you look at what we just looked at. That's not the right, because there's no... Where's the hobbit, like the bedside tables aren't, oh, I guess because those are the stairs coming down so you don't see, yeah. I gotcha. No, what's the scale? No, back okay. here, look. That doesn't, that aft area did not look the same size as this living area, which is what it's showing there. Huh, okay. It has 800 gallons of fuel, that's plenty. Fresh water tanks 200, a little bit light. Hold Says it sleeps, sleeps eight. Sofa bed somewhere yeah the number of heads too um and volfo 12s any stabilizers no stabilizers did, did we mention that i get seasick yeah that's another thing this is a long boat that's fairly shallow so it's not terribly tall but that is a concern on this uh, this would be a great boat. I think there's room to put a sea keeper, but you know, you're going to put a sea keeper that by the time you get it installed, um, tell me if I'm wrong, anybody, but you They're will put cheap. half the value of this boat you would have in a, you would put what? into They're the that expensive? By the time you install grand? it, you're, it's around a hundred thousand dollars. Okay. So the 2002 Carver 570, do you put it? Yes, no, maybe. I put it in the maybe. I go maybe leaning to yes. Okay. But I don't like the walk around, and I don't like the fact that you said it's not maybe the best in the ocean, because we do want to go to the bottom. Yeah. But I do love the layout and the space and the fly bridge and the washer and dryer. I give it a, a lot of great things about it. I give it a plus on the space and the livability. I give it, it loses points to me because of the capability of it. So livability oh. high, capability low. Yeah, so then you really got to look at, you know, how much living are you doing on the loop and how much capability do you need Well, on the I'd loop. like to survive the loop, so I guess <laughs> let's, let's put it in there. It's not like it's going to fall apart, but the, the livability comes into play when, um, you know, you're stressed about the, the capability of the boat, I think. Yeah. yeah. But there's plenty of people that do, do the, the loop, loop on, on a carver. carver. Yeah. So it's, I, I give it a yes. You give it a maybe. Yeah. We'll see. Thank you so much for the recommendation. Let us know if you have any other thoughts on other boats we should review, and we're gonna keep, we're gonna keep on looking till we find that boat. We'll keep on looking with our <laughs> VBS. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Shine on! Oh, and if you like this, like, subscribe, and yeah, give a little tickle on the uh, the like, and hit the bell. The bell's pretty cool. It'll let you know when we've uploaded a new video. Okay. Awesome. Thanks. Shine on.